Hey guys, uh, Marley here. Just wanted to make a few uh, video just on um, reptilians and humans fear of reptilians. And also give out a few shout outs of appreciation to people who've made videos recently that assisted and supported me in my process. Uh, shout out to Spamad for a video recently, Suicide Libbersil, um where uh, it's the name of a perfect circle track. She equates the music of the track to pictures she plays. Uh, makes um, um, points in the video that to be taken in consideration um, in the very very supportive videos if you've got hundreds of videos on a YouTube channel I, su I suggest you you watch them um, Guillaume Roberts uh, made a very very good video recently um, called uh, Proof That Love and Light Works and um, it's just about um, discrediting love and light and it, uh, exposing it for the fallacy that it is as it stands, of course, because um, in terms of common sense, when you go and see a poor person and meet them, go and tell them that, oh, love and light will will uh, give you food, love and light will give you shelter, you know, will provide for you. Um, it it patronises them, it's insulting, because in reality, saying love and light and praying for people, starving people to a, a god that you don't know exists, is absolutely ludicrous and doesn't physically change anything. There's no, nothing practical to it. Um, uh, yeah, so that was an excellent video. He's got very good videos on his um, YouTube channel as well, so I suggest you watch those. They'll support you. Um, shout out to um, Layla uh, Zamora, Zamora Moreno. Sorry. Um, there's something about uh, scientific proof and destiny. Something like that, the video was called. But uh, it's about how humans are inherently afraid of reptilians, which is why I wanted to make this video. Because I mean, uh, you could e anyone can easily see that that uh, humans are most afraid of reptilians more than any animals or creatures in the animal kingdom. And when I say reptilians, I'm not making this video about the Anunnaki or Draconans or beings from. Um, that are not necessarily known about as common knowledge. Um, but I'm talking about reptilians as in snakes, crocodiles, Komodo dragons, things like this. People are very, very afraid of these creatures um, and um, refuse to show them understanding. We've been killing reptilian creatures for a long time um, for no apparent reason other than just um, being in our space. Um, of course, we're all as equal as one, and so it's ludicrous to 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 see an animal so separate from you just because it has scales and um, slit eyes and is. Uh, of course, it's the whole thing because um, a lot of reptilians are natural predators. Um, you know, they, as soon as they're born into the world, they're they're learning how to kill, to survive. Um, it's the whole alien thing. People think they look very alien. I mean, I've had plenty of reptilians in my life. I've had a monitor lizard most recently. Um, it passed away a couple of years ago. Um, I've had um, a python. I've had a king cobra. And I've got a friend who owns a reptilian shop. Um, so he's always got loads of uh, reptiles around. So I've been acclimatised to them at a young age, um, and I, I, you know, have never really been afraid of them in honesty. But of course, when a, when a snake strikes for you to go and bite you, you cannot deny it is is um is the fear there. But I see the fear, and I don't allow the fear to stand as me, to represent me. I don't allow that energy to just represent me towards the creature in separation, because when the fear arises, you must face it and not allow it to represent you. Um, forgive yourself and self-honesty um, and breathe through the fear um, and you'll see that there's nothing there to fear. Um, so yeah, I, I would advise, you know, if you're afraid of reptilians, you know, go and buy yourself a reptile of some sort and um, you know, and live with it daily, and then after a, a period of time, you won't see it any different to your, you know, your common cat or your dog or you know fish or any any other creature in the animal world, because people singling out reptiles as being evil, obviously, 
because of the Bible, you know, always helps with people's theories of that because Satan's represented as a serpent in the Bible. And so they think, oh, reptilian, evil. I always think of reptilian when, if people really knew their ancient knowledge, you know, um, reptilians are linked with, with knowledge, with higher knowledge, not with being evil. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, forgive yourself and self-honesty. See, there's no practical common sense in being afraid of a creature that just looks, uh, has a different physical vessel to you, um, is exactly the same as you, is no different, is equal as any other being as all in existence are. Um, so do not judge them and don't allow the fear to overtake you. Thanks. Somali.